Hello, and welcome to the Podoko Basic Tutorial. Here you're going to learn about all the basic functions of Podoko. If you don't already have a login, you can get one at our website at podoko.com. Once you've logged in, you'll be brought to the My Prototype section of the website, which is this blue button right here. I'm going to make an App Store today, so I'm going to do that by clicking on Create Web Prototype. I can also create an iOS prototype by clicking on this blue button here, but today we're going to focus on the web prototype. Let's begin. This is the prototype view. This will show the pages and various elements of your prototype. I can rename this by just typing in App Store, clicking Enter. I'm going to double click on my page now to edit it. By the way, the double click principle functions with just about all the elements in Podoko. So I'm going to double click on my page up here and rename it Home. You can also adjust the page width and height by clicking on this orange context menu up here. I'm going to start dragging and dropping some stencils now from our stencil palette here on the left. As you can see, you'll have all the elements you'll need for your prototype. I'm just going to drag in an image stencil, headline, use some text, text input for a search bar. And then I really like the combo box because if you have a global website or an international website, you may want to show what languages you can use. I'm also going to grab the menu stencil here, which we can use as somewhat of a navigation. Okay, let's begin editing these now. I'm just going to double click on it. I'm going to type in three languages that I know of, <laughs> not necessarily skilled at. And then I'm going to edit this one as well. This is wiki syntax. One line corresponds to one entry. Subcategories are shown by two stars. I'm just going to highlight this by clicking and then highlighting with the normal standard shortcuts and then delete it and then copy and paste what I've prepared in another document. Okay, control V and there you go. Remember to make sure that there's a space between the star and the entry. All right, the context menu is this green button right over here. You can click on it and it'll show the various properties of the stencils. Each stencil will have this. I can change the orientation first so it's vertical and then I'm going to double click on it to link it. To link it you have to highlight the entry then you have to click on this drop down link to new page. So say I want to reuse my header. You can do that easily by using global layers. Let's just click on this plus button over here in global layers on the right hand side and then we're going to go to our first page by using our breadcrumb navigation. The breadcrumb navigation basically allows you to go quickly between the various pages and layers and other elements of your prototype. So we're just going to go to my home here. I'm going to add a central visual so that we can differentiate these pages when I use the global layer. I'm going to resize this really quick here. Bring this guy up. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to highlight now everything that I want on my global layer and then click the control button to add this stencil. Remember, shortcuts work with Podoko, so I'm just going to do Control X to cut it, put it on my global layer, Control V, and there you go, it's on my global layer. All right, I'm also going to link this image stencil by going to its context menu and specifying the target there. I'm going to specify it home so that people can always return there if they need to. All right, now we're ready to simulate. We can simulate by going up to this little icon up here, the little globe there. And there are basically two options. You can simulate it in sketched or simulate it in plain. Sketch looks more like a prototype, plain looks more like HTML. I like to show that it's still a prototype, so I'm going to just simulate it in sketched. And there you go, here's our prototype. As you can see, these are interactive stencils. I can click on German, type in apps if I want to, and I can even go to my second page. There you go. All right, so I worked on this prototype a little bit in the meantime, and I wanted to show you what I made. I hope you like it. And there you go. Here we have our App Store. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you can use what you learned here in your own prototypes. If you need more information about other cool features that you can do with Podoko, go ahead and check out our website. Until next time, happy prototyping!